in the 80k crusty snow on top terrible for snowshoes but that's what i'm doing Let's see them here my yellow pink gators my own bindings on there terrible conditions uh my goal is to go to my stand see if it's still standing see if i see a little lighthouse up there but uh yeah a lot of stuff just hanging here my tripod pieces kept falling off but i i have them but sorry but uh terrible conditions for snowshoeing but uh it's working um kind of break the crust and go through but i feel i feel good i'm not out of breath or anything which is that's a plus but that's what i'm doing here man yeah little mushrooms over there but uh hopefully i'll make some coffee out here we'll be good take care well i'm out to my hooch still still standing my tripod for filming the truck piece of crap but uh, yeah, it's still standing, a lot of snow around it. I gotta get the snow off. Got some of my stuff there. I'm gonna build a fire uh, around here. Not much going on. I got the snowshoes on still. I don't know if I'll take them off. Nah, I, I don't know. I might, cause I'm just, uh, I'm gonna make a, make a fire somewhere here. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, I got to get the snow off there. My tripod's broke, so I'll, I'll, we'll improvise at some point. So, but uh, get back to you. Let's see here. I got to put a base down in the snow. So I was chopping this with my little laurel and left my big Corona saw back at the vehicle. But uh, I have a Swiss Army knife. But uh, I think I could push this over now, so. Oops, sorry. Tripod's broke, sorry for the way it's going, but there we go. Oh, so really good. Let me, uh, there she goes, baby. Take it back to our little spot. Put this back in the, in the case. We're gonna be good, man. Put this little Norlin back in the case. Yeah, put a little piece of fat wood there. I'll start putting some small pieces on there. Now be very careful. I actually made a little char cloth of my shemog. Those I had in my little pack. Took my shemog off, it was hanging down. Almost caught the dad going, uh, sorry for the, no tripod here, broke. Sorry for everything. But uh, yeah, it's, oh, this, this is nice, man, it feels good. Let's pile that on there. It's, uh, a lot of hemlock, might be some maple in there. Get going a little bit. Got some fat wood here. I don't think I'll need that anymore. Yeah. So I'll throw, I'll throw one in there anyway. Almost good. Uh, damn, that uh, shamog almost caught fire, so it's hanging down. See it over here. Burned at some point. It's okay. Looks seasoned. <laughs> Oh, that's all part of the deal here. And uh, let's try these things here. A little mushroom there. But uh, yeah, we got all kinds of crap here. All kinds of stuff there. Get enough air because the space is in here and it's the tree that I cut down. As soon as it gets going, I'll put the uh, root press in there with the water. And uh, it's one of my first cooks is there. Definitely not nothing fancy, but uh, it's my Norland. But uh, this feels good, I'll tell you that, man. Feels pretty darn good. Yeah. Let's see about this one. This one looks good, too. Put that in there. 
Be careful when you mess around with this stuff. I mess around town here. Don't have to worry about fires out here now. Got a lot of snow here. In the open area is about two feet of snow, compressed snow. But uh, yeah, we got it going now. Pretty good. So. Yeah. Better piece going there. Well, just enough to warm the water up. I'm gonna capture that fire pretty fast. Before I lose it. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna fill that up right now. I'll get back to why oh, that feels good. Got my Gilbert Yellow Jackets stainless steel single wall vessel. Picked it up somewhere. I don't know where the school is. Uh, that'd be enough. Well. Put that here. I'm going to get this in there as quick as I could to capture the heat. So, that's what I'm going to do. I got my top. Top for that right over here. Down here a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting down a lot now. So I'll get that going and I'll show you my other stuff here in a minute. So let me get back to you. That means you got the Ratani coffee grinder here. Got the coffee in here. Probably grind a little more. Got the beans right there. Coarse ground, so it goes better than the last videos you've seen me doing that. But uh Got that heating up right now, a little saucepan top on top of that uh, 0.94 liters, 32 ounce container. Make some coffee, have a little something to eat. Capture that heat. So let me get back to you, I gotta keep this fire going. Oh, it feels good, man. So, get this show on the road here. Very nice, beautiful day out here in the neighborhood. Nice woods here in the Adirondacks. Take care. Oh yeah, that looks good, man. Over here a little bit. <sighs> Should be okay. zucchini bread right there and uh if i want more but i'm gonna get eat some food when i go into the cabin but i got some nice butter finger here man can't beat them so grab some of this oh yeah mm. pour myself another a cup of coffee here man lighting the fire my smog was hanging off tassels on the end caught a little caught fire a little bit so gotta be careful with that man so never know another thing when i let me show you these two logs here 
those two logs, you know, I, 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 I cut down the tree there with my ax. So I laid it across this log, cut it up again. When I pressed down on it, it came up and hit me upside the head. Be careful with that too. I should have known better. But uh, I actually, instead of using my foot, I kind of just punched it and just broke it in half. So, but uh, hit me upside the head. So, be careful with that. So, but yeah, we just finished the coffee, put the snowshoes on, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll head back out. You know, sun coming out. It'll be a nice day, man. Yeah. There's the sun up there. Cool. So I finished all this coffee. Mmm. So you have a good day. It's Quinn Yesmo. I'm here. I was here. I came out to check this hooch I had for hunting a long time ago. Well, in the fall. And I want to see if it was still standing, and it was. So I'm not going in there and no intentions, but I just wanted to see if it was. So I'm going to move this. Maybe in the spring or fall, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So anyways, uh, I was watching a video with, I think is a survival metal man. And he kind of was doing this prod here. This uh, Stanley brew prod, French press thing. So I said, geez, I like that. I'm gonna, you know, survival metal man there. I'm going to check that out, and I'm glad I did. And then as far as grinding the coffee, you know, I'm usually not too fancy, although I'm big into tea. Uh, I love my coffee in the morning. And uh, Carolina Chris, well, that son, was grinding some coffee out there at his camp. I said, wait a minute now. I got to do that, you know. And uh, I guess Cold Cracker grinds his stuff out there too a lot. So they take a long time to grind. I didn't film all that, but uh, so... Yeah, kind of too, and then uh, I think Paleo MD, you know, did a little thing on his pot here, but um, so they kind of inspired me a little to get off my butt and get this pot. I think Waypoint Survival, I don't know if he has or he hasn't, but he does a lot of hacks on the Stanley Cook stuff. But this, he can do a whole new thing on this because I, I, I think it's almost better, you know. And uh, I, I like those probably Pokemon cups. Although, you know, I use them too, but, uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, he can do a lot with that. He can do a whole new series on that with this, because you can do a real lot with that pot, big time. Uh, you, know, you can even share, like, if you're backpack and, you know, it's a little heavy for, you know, people want to go out to life, but if you've got a, two, three people, you can make a lot of coffee out of that, and, and it works really good. Nice, coarse grind, then it goes down nice and easy, but, uh, yeah. That was my first cooks I ever made, and I kind of like it. Doesn't look too good, but I, I like it a lot. But I have, I made five or six now. Um, but uh, it was the first one. But I got to get back in. Another thing, I got this. Uh, let me shut this off. Well, I was having trouble out here in this particular spot. Talking to my buddies, my radio was getting old, so I got this uh, RETC 15. Very inexpensive radio, but has a lot of bells and whistles, and uh, and it works very well out here. I tested it today because uh, we need communication. If anything happens to all of us, so I'm going to call in uh, to the guys, tell them I'm as soon as I put everything together, I'll be coming in, and. Uh, Radio is pretty good. Let me try it out right now. Hey, Hector, I got to put my stuff together and then uh, I'm going to start coming in. Uh, we're waiting for you for a prayer meeting. Oh, yes, I can't miss the prayer meeting. Uh, make sure you, and we'll hold court there. And uh, yes. So I'll just put my stuff together quick. Finish my last bit of coffee, put the fire out a little bit, and then uh, just pack everything up. Should be a lot better getting in. Because I uh, made way with the snowshoes. so And the radio works good. I'm very happy with it. So, um, yeah. I'll be in, man.